I was born deaf. The oldest of three girls. My mom married and only had the three of us girls. When I was little, my mother would take me down the road where lots of other children would also go. But because I was deaf, I didn't understand much of what was being said. But they did read the Bible often and they would tell us to memorize scripture. They shared how God loved the world so much that he sent his only son. And whoever would believe in him would not die but live forever in heaven. And I understood some, but I didn't quite get everything at the time. There was a bus that would come and take everyone to a large church where the children were all separated into groups by age. I was in the 12-year-old group, and each Sunday, our teacher gave us a new memory verse to learn. I loved Christmas time because we would get gifts for memorizing the verses through the year. Then, when I was 15, we joined the rest of the congregation in big church for worship. I remember seeing the pastor always kneeling and praying. I would watch him and feel God's call on my heart to go meet the pastor and pray to become a follower of Jesus and to receive him into my life. So one day, after everyone had left, I went down to the front to meet with the pastor and I sat down with him and told him that I wanted Jesus. The pastor prayed with me and at the time I didn't understand what he was saying, but I understood that I was putting my trust in God then. I was 16 years old at the time and I didn't mention it, but I was born in Jamaica and that's where all of this took place. So that year, I began to follow Jesus as a 16-year-old. Now remember, I was going to a hair in church and I thank God for that church because it's where I began to follow Jesus. But I went to a deaf school. So I asked around to see if they knew of any deaf churches. And sure enough, I was brought to a deaf church. I had never seen one before. Now that church also had a school with dorms right next to it. I began to go there and everything was signed. But the leaders were people who had come from America. I couldn't understand since they signed differently, but they came to live with us. What were they doing here? They were teaching about Jesus. It was here that I learned the importance of obeying God's word. The Bible wasn't just another book to be read and then set aside afterwards. I learned that God's word was different. We needed to obey it. Later on, many of us who were deaf were baptized in the river nearby. In that group, we had great fellowship and community. We prayed together, shared stories, had interesting discussions, ate together, and gave financially for tithes and offerings. It was so wonderful to gather in fellowship and enjoy the presence of God. During that time, I watched and studied the people who came from another country to be with us. I watched them and how they acted closely as they taught at the school. And eventually said to myself, you know, when I grow up, that's what I want to do. And that's how God called me. I ended up going to three different countries. The first country was Trinidad and Tobago, after that St. Lucia, and finally Thailand. It's always a process learning different cultures, such as sitting a certain way, things like that. The challenge is being able to take on their culture while also being an influence for Christ. I want to take on as much of their culture and language as I can. 
without their religious beliefs in order to bring Christ into their world. It's like how Paul, in order to share the message, would go to Rome and do what the Romans were doing. So for me as a believer and a follower of Jesus, I will go to a place where the people don't know him and I will wear their clothes, eat their food, stay in their homes and live as they do. But I am also bringing the good news. And that's unique.